Hello, Kim Hothead here. I just wanted to get caught up on a few things. Um, April 20th, I went to downtown east side Vancouver, and we showed the Taking the Fall and Rising film at Van Du. And I was, uh, I just had the best journey ever. Um, I wasn't feeling well, and my good buddy Carol Romana uh, picked me up at the airport, Raging Granny dropped me off at the, uh, not the airport, the ferry. Raging Granny Allison dropped me off at the ferry on this side and Carol Romanov picked me up. I appreciate that. Stayed at Carol's, went and did some uh, hanging out and we went downtown and went to Van Du. We got there at 10 to 2. The movie was at 2 and the buses in Vancouver have gotten way worse. And just as a note on commercial and Hastings, along Hastings, there are no seats for people to sit on for the buses and it just is unbelievable ever since the Olympics the bus seats were taken away and nothing's been replaced and that's disgusting Vancouver but anyways just as a note couldn't help myself I was pretty gimped out and I had nowhere to sit so at least two or three times on the buses but we did get there and it was a full house and we were welcomed the movie started on time uh, was given a great introduction by Susan Boyd they loved the film and it's, it was just great to to reconnect with a community that have you know in many ways social colonial society have kept me divided from a lot of my own family and community and uh, Malwin this goes out to you uh, thank you for your hospitality I really appreciated hanging out with you and uh, yeah we'll have to connect and people in the downtown east side mentioned to me they'd like to maybe do a thawed downtown east side so you can totally do that just by starting a YouTube account and I'll help you. We've already been talking about it here. Um, met some great people, went to Pigeon Park Cafe, Pigeon Park area, and uh, filmed the protest, Pigeon Cafe protest regarding gentrification. Um, and I put a YouTube up about that, went to 420, that's coming up. And Rose Sacoma, you rock, sister. Thank you for helping me out that day. I have to run quickly to the ferry, I made it home on time. And thank you for singing and chatting with me at Oppenheimer Park. That short's coming up soon. Thanks for your patience. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, and here we are now. May 1st just happened, International Workers' Day. We started at our place. It was wonderful. People were brave, got up and sang. Met a new friend, Ricky. He sang the song yesterday. Uh, thanks, Art. Abbas. Your food was amazing at Centennial Square. Carlos, oh my God, I, I can't remember everybody's name, but you know everybody really rocked out. I know we kind of messed up there a bit and dropped the ball with the packages that we were going to try and deliver at 7 p.m. My apologies to the sister who was there waiting. She was very compassionate and wasn't angry about the fact that it didn't happen. Thank you for being compassionate and forgiving about the fact there weren't any hamburgers. We'll get on that one for next time. Appreciate that everybody came out. Thanks to Food Not Bombs. And uh, I'm sure I forgot someone, but um, I'm going to let, let go now with the ending with May 7th is coming up. And I put out a YouTube about that. Thanks to everyone who's putting their energy into that, and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully see you all out for the photo that we're doing at 1220 on May 7th at the corner of Quadra and Pandora. We can eliminate poverty. The people have a, harm, like a, a, a poverty reduction plan. The people do, and the government needs to step up. And uh, NDP, let's go, man. It's, uh, we got to get going on this. The plan is there. We're not going to wait for a year. And next time an NDP politician says, don't expect much in the first year, my answer to them is that if that's the case, then don't expect to have your health care covered. Don't expect to have uh, secure housing. Don't expect any benefits then in the first year either. Anyways, take care, everyone. I appreciate everyone getting involved, and uh, please help out. We need to get rid of these fibrils and uh, get some uh, love back in the community all around. Let's transform homelessness and get an advocacy watch going and let's help each other out, housed and homeless. Take care. There's a murder in the air bin morning. All the ghetto birds are squawking and are high